Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use a query to answer a question that you have about the information stored in the database tables. You can then further analyze the results that the queries pull to produce even more information than the query itself displays. Reports are often based on query results, upon which they can then perform additional mathematical and statistical calculations. Queries are also an excellent way to show information from related tables in a single result set, as the results that you pull from queries aren't limited to a single table. The power and flexibility of query design is the entire reason you use database programs. They can quickly access, calculate, and summarize the records that they pull from the various tables. Access provides you with a simple query wizard which you can use to initially create queries. However, do not rely too heavily on this tool, as at some point you will inevitably have to create a query that is more complex than this tool allows. For advanced queries, you must learn how to create a query in Query Design View versus using the wizard to create them. However, to create a simple query using this wizard, click the Query Wizard button that appears in the Queries button group on the Create tab within the ribbon. In the new query dialog box that appears, you can see different ways in which you can create queries. Select the simple query wizard choice and then click the OK button to begin. In the first screen of the wizard, you must select the first table from which you will pull data by using the Tables and Queries drop-down. Once you have selected a table, the fields from that table will display in the Available Fields list. To add a field from the table into the query, select its name in the Available Fields list and click the right pointing arrow button to move it into the Selected Fields list. Repeat this as needed, selecting the fields that you will want to see in the query. When you are finished, click the Next button to continue. If you only selected fields from a single table in the first screen, then when you click the Next button to continue, you will only need to provide the query with a name and then click the Finish button to finish creating the query. If, however, you picked data fields from two or more related tables, then when you click the Next button, you will instead view a second screen which asks if you would like a detail or a summary query. You can select the option button for the type of query that you want to create. If you select Summary, then you will be able to click the Summary Options button to open the Summary Options dialog box. In this dialog box, you can select what type of summary to perform over a selected field. Make your selections, and then click the OK button to return to the Simple Query Wizard. Click Next to continue. In the next screen, if you selected Detail on the previous screen, you will only need to name your query and then click the Finish button to create the query. If you selected Summary, and your summary includes dates, then you may be presented with additional date grouping options. Continue to answer any questions as appropriate for your query, and then click the Next button to continue until you reach the final screen. In the final screen, you must type a name for your query, and then click the Finish button to create the query. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.